841, great to have you with us, uh, checking his list and uh, checking it twice and making sure that we're all being on the nice list. Yes. Santa Ron is here, so uh, I want to thank him for joining us this morning. Uh, we'll wrap up question of the day. We're uh, playing for $100 in Lotto Max tickets, and tonight's jackpot, $25 million, which is nothing to sneeze at. Uh, I'd love to win that, to be honest. Uh, do you know the answer to this one? Research suggesting that doing this makes you weaker. What is it? Yeah, so look at some of the answers on our Facebook page. I'm seeing too much sleep. Not enough sleep, eating junk food, blood pressure, too much exercise, holding a grudge, drinking coffee, shopping, overeating, sitting on a computer all day, crying. <laughs> like, there's just so there's many different answers here. A lot of good suggestions. Uh, Nancy said soaking in the bathtub. Okay. Like, does that maybe, uh, you know, take some of your energy out of you? Is that what they're suggesting? Maybe. Matt? I don't know. Uh, Bill said stretching. I'm not sure if that makes you weaker or not, but it feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Uh, Tammy said being around negative people. Okay. Uh, Karen said holding grudges. I think a lot of people have done that. Terry said uh, doing too much cardio. Okay. And Debbie was less specific, just saying, uh, uh, oh, pardon me. I thought she said exercise, but no, it's making excuses. Oh, okay. Uh, And then uh, Trevor said experiencing trauma. And then Jesse said uh, drinking too much alcohol. Okay. So, I mean... I think there's a lot of great suggestions there in there. Are, yeah. and they certainly built as the morning went along because this seemed to be a tough one for a while. Uh, holding grudges is what we were looking for today. Oh, interesting. And our winner today is Wanda Williams. Yeah, congratulations. That's $100 worth of Lotto Max tickets. Yeah, $25 million is the jackpot tonight. Coming up on uh, Thursday, we play for six forty nine tickets. And the goal ball is sitting at $48 million in that jackpot. Wow. So uh, we'll see if it builds up to fifty for uh, in time for us to do our next question of the day. 843. Here's Nat King Cole on 104.7 Heart FM. 104.7 Heart FM and the world's best music. That's headphones for Banks and Ranks featuring Rev and Nat King Cole, the Christmas song. I noted on here that it's uh, 1946 is the year on my machine. And I- I'm thinking... Is that right? I had to look it up because I, I, I thought that didn't seem right. But yeah, it is 1946 that that song was recorded and originally released. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty. I mean, the, the war wasn't over for all that long at that point, right? Right, yeah. Um, music history was made this week as well. And you'll be seeing this when the official Billboard Hot 100 comes out. But a song that has been out for 65 years is number one for the first time. Oh, okay. And it is Brenda Lee's Rocking Around the Christmas Tree. Really? Yeah. It's hard to believe, like, even when it came out in the 50s, um, that it uh, it never hit number one. Okay. Well, good for her. Yeah. And we know Mariah Carey did it 25 years after <laughs> yeah. her song was released. But this one is a little more epic because of the time frame from when it first was released till now. It also has another record uh, in that uh, the Brenda is now the oldest artist to ever top the chart. Oh, cool. She's 78. And the other thing that's very interesting about this record, and I only learned this about two weeks ago is that when she recorded this in 1958 yeah she was 13 years old wait so like the song that we know and love that is a 13 year old singing it's a 13 year old and it's oh hard to goodness. believe it doesn't yeah. sound like a kid it really doesn't um, and that's the thing that's surprising like when you hear uh, Gayla Peavy singing I want a hippopotamus for Christmas that, that sounds like that a sounds kid, like a but kid Brenda but Lee does not sound like no. a 13 year old in that song yeah so there's some uh, some shocking things about that uh, song that we now know but yeah. I think it was a TikTok video that Chris was watching and, and so we actually had to look it up to see if it to indeed confirm, yeah. was right and yes it was oh wow yeah uh, so Brenda Lee at number one this week on the Billboard Hot 100, which is kind of cool. And a lot of those uh, songs, I know Wham, uh, Mariah Carey, Bur- was it Burl Eyes or uh, Bobby Helms, I think, that are actually in the top 10 this week as yeah. well, uh, which are all kind of classic records that are at least 30 years older, uh, at least 25 years old. Oh, do you know what this is, uh, this uh, little guy here? Oh, it's a Squishmallow. Yeah, I- I'd never seen these before. There's a bunch of them under the Christmas tree here. Yeah, they're the new popular like stuffed animal-like toy, but it's not like an animal. It's almost like a pillow shape but then it has like the animal design i don't even know how else to d- describe it google it's- squishmallow you know what i mean <laughs> i guess they're very popular this year for christmas as you were mentioning and uh people have donated them for stuff the bus which we very oh, much that's appreciate awesome. yeah and uh I, I when i mentioned this earlier today um i got hit up from my uh 
uh, for my brother-in-law and basically saying, you know, Zoe, my niece, yeah. loves Squishmallows, but she only oh. has two of them. So mm. a little hint right hint, there. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Um, and we, we uh, certainly encourage you to help us out with Stuff the Bus because uh, this is all going to Operation Sharing in the Christmas Place, which is a wonderful uh, deal to do. And uh, Santa Ron is going to be up front. We understand the Grinch is showing up this morning as well to help drum up some support. So when you see us, not only honk, but think about going out and uh, purchasing those items. So yes. The kids are the easy ones. It's the teenagers, the adults that are more difficult. So gift cards work well. Yeah, I was just going to say, you can get a gift card for like anywhere, like Walmart, Staples, yeah. like, or even like a gift certificate for a local business so they can go out and pick what they want. Restaurant voucher might be nice yeah. as well. I mean, it's an opportunity to, to kind of think outside of the box because the kids are going to be shopping for their siblings and their uh, uh, their parents as well. Right. And it may it make for, you know, you can imagine a family um, that's kind of living through a food bank right now. Getting yep. a restaurant voucher for between Christmas and New Year's that to go out. That would be huge. Like, wouldn't that be great to have a family meal together like that? Yeah. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's something to think about. And yeah. that's that's kind of why we're doing this. And I know it's early in December. Uh, and it's still, when you look at the calendar, it's only 20 days away. But people often don't uh, make those donations until much closer. But in order to actually make it work, it needs to be they done a little bit earlier. Sooner, yeah. So if maybe you've got an office uh, gathering, a collection going on. We have the bus here until Thursday morning. And then it goes over to Operation sharing we'll still take your donations uh but uh, we'll have to bring them in the building here and then drive them over to yeah. the uh, to the location as well so think about non-perishables about those gift items warm clothing gift cards food uh all of it it is uh, 8 53 i should mention too santa ron was telling us he's got uh, what like 50 events to go between now and christmas something like that yeah he's a busy guy he is a busy guy we want to thank him for taking the time to uh, to join us here all right uh still lots of fun in tomorrow's show this is a, a christmas movie showdown that is going to be of epic proportions, Marcy. So we have Die Hard going up against Home Alone. And I don't know how to measure this, other than I feel like the people on the Die Hard side are going to start, you know, getting their peeps together to say, hey, if you haven't voted yet, your time to vote is now. I am going to be very upset if we see a bunch of names that we have never seen before just randomly pop up because well, I'm just picturing Chris McMillan gathering all of his air buddies. Being like, hey, we got a show, Marcy. <laughs> you've got, I, I was going to suggest that you've got a lot of people that live in your home, but a lot of those people like Die Hard too, don't uh, they? John and Ian. Exactly. So, so you can offset it a little bit, but not, not perfectly. We will see. <laughs> I am just relying on the fact that. Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. Home Alone is, by default, it should win. Hit us up. Uh, we'll uh, have that up tomorrow morning, <laughs> and we hopefully have fun with it. It's 8.54. Clock, great to have you with us this morning. Are we hoarders? And, and I don't just mean this from a physical standpoint. This is digital. We'll get to that this hour. Some great songs on the way. We'll hear from the Kid Leroy and Justin Bieber. Also Adele, Miley Cyrus, John Lennon, Dua Lipa, and Sam Smith with Normani. Here's Dancing with a Stranger. Well, you certainly can help make it a happy Christmas for everyone by stopping by Heart FM. Santa Ron is out there right now and uh, encouraging people to make a donation to Stuff the Bus campaign. We'd like you to stop by at some point between now and Thursday and uh, drop off gifts for young ones, for teenagers, for adults. It could be gift certificates. It could be uh, non-perishable food items, which are greatly needed this time of year. Warm clothing uh, will accept it into the Stuff a Bus campaign, which will deliver the goodies coming up uh, just after the morning show on Thursday. You can read more details at heartfm.ca. Here's Miley Cyrus. Good morning. 104.7 Heart FM. There's Noel and Virginia de Vegas called Daydreaming and Miley Cyrus part of the set as well. Hey there, my name's Dan Henry. Are you a hoarder? And we're not talking about the physical way because, uh, I mean, you probably could consider me one, but a digital hoarder. Our physical footprint of digital addictions, uh, we might be mystified the, by the amount of data. We just put stuff in the cloud and we just think it exists there. Over in England, in the UK, they're struggling. They have to get more servers up and running because they're overrun with all this, you know, email and pictures and other data that has just been saved. And you think about my email address and how much junk is in there. Are we hoarders? And we, we probably never think about this. Like we start up a Hotmail account that I did in the 90s and it's been there all this time. There's lots of email in there, but where does, where does that actually exist? I mean, it is data that has to be held somewhere and I know it can be compressed and all the rest of that. But we never really think about it. But servers have to be built and things of that nature. So 
Uh, they are building it over in the UK, but maybe it's a good idea for us to think about cleaning our uh, data out a little bit. We've got a Dell coming up in weather details too. Tw- Sky, slight chance of flurry of shower activity today and temperature steady near two. Overnight tonight to minus seven with a few flurries, but tomorrow, mix of sun and cloud. Enjoy that. You stick around. Uh, we got lots more of the world's best, like Adele. Here comes Oh My God. 104.7 Hard FM these days. That's Mackenzie Porter, Kid Leroy, Justin Bieber in there too. My name's Dan Henry, and uh, there's uh, lots that you can do to help support changing lives and building stronger communities. It's the annual United Way online auction on now through Friday at 1. Uh, there's a wide array of items, including restaurant vouchers, gift certificates, overnight stays, sports collectibles, tickets, delicious treats, and one-of-a-kind experiences. Uh, check it out. We've got the link to the Auctions 32 website up on the events calendar. Just head on over to heartfm.ca and show your local love. You stick around for Lewis Capaldi. 104.7 Hard FM with snow and everybody wants to be like you, Nico and Vin's part of the set too. My name's Dan Henry and we invite you to get your birthday and anniversary announcements into us. Marcy and I read out the list weekdays at 7.50 and uh, we always have lots of room for yours. So please hit us up at hardfm.ca. Coming up on tomorrow morning's show, it's a great Christmas movie showdown between Die Hard and Home Alone. And I feel like uh, people in each camp are going to be getting their peeps together to try and make this uh, a win. And we will see how it all comes together starting tomorrow morning. First thing, hopefully you can join us for that. Santa Ron is here at the Heart FM studios, uh, uh, waving at drivers going past and hoping that you will find the Christmas spirit and make a donation if you're able to support the Christmas place through Operation Sharing, and the less fortunate in our community will take non-perishables, but gifts for kids, gifts for teenagers, gifts for adults, uh, things of that nature, just to kind of help out. Uh, it could be a restaurant voucher, too. We were talking about how that might make a big difference to so somebody who is, uh, you know, essentially living on food bank food to be able to have a meal out with the family between Christmas and New Year's. Wouldn't that be wonderful as well? Well, you stick around. Laura's coming in. Long sets of the world's best for your workday. We'll get rolling with Lato this in a moment. Holiday season.